Once upon a time, there lived an old couple in an old small shack next to a forest. They were living a happy and peaceful life. Their only regret was not having a child of their own. One day, when the old lady was making cookie dough in the kitchen, her husband came in. Darling, what are you cooking today? Oh, my darling, I'm baking a gingerbread man today. The old lady kneaded the dough and cut a gingerbread man shape. After putting it in the oven, she sat down and started to wait for the gingerbread man to bake. When she could smell the delicious cookie all around the air in the kitchen, she put on her oven gloves and took the gingerbread man out. Now it was time to decorate it. She made eyes out of raisins and a cute nose using candy. And then she used some cream to make his hair and clothes. And lastly, she used cherries to make some buttons for him. She had a look at her masterpiece and said, My gingerbread man looks beautiful, but I feel like something is missing. The old lady looked at him again and, Oh, his mouth! I forgot to make his mouth. She drew a mouth on the gingerbread man's face with the cream. Oh yes, now you are complete, my gingerbread man. At that moment, something unexpected happened. Thank you! But, but how can it be you are talking? Gingerbread man suddenly stood up and started running. Yeah, and I can also run! The gingerbread man jumped from the kitchen bench to the chair, then to the ground and started running fast to the kitchen door to the garden. Come back! Come back! The old lady yelled. The gingerbread man began talking whilst he was running. Yeah! Run, run! As fast as you can, but nobody can catch me! Because I'm the gingerbread man! The old lady got out to the garden and started running after the gingerbread man. The man looked out the window and saw his wife running and yelled. Hey, where are you running? The old lady answered to her husband whilst running. My gingerbread man ran away. I'm trying to catch him. The old man was speechless. The old lady ran, but the gingerbread man was so fast that it was impossible to catch him. After a short while, the gingerbread man came across a ranch. A grazing cow noticed him. Ah, oh, what a nice cookie! I should catch and eat him! The cow also began to run after the gingerbread man. Wait! Don't run! I'm gonna eat ya! Yeah! Run, run as fast as you can! And all ladies also trying to catch me! But nobody can, because I'm the gingerbread man! The old lady and the cow were running after the gingerbread man. And at this time, a pig noticed the gingerbread man. A gingerbread man, true to my taste buds, wait and I will catch you! The gingerbread man answered the pig whilst he was running. Yeah! Run, run as fast as you can! An old lady and a cow are also trying to catch me! But nobody can, because I'm the gingerbread man! While they were running, the gingerbread man in front, the old lady, cow and the pig behind him, a chicken noticed the gingerbread man while looking for some food. That has to be my lunch! So the chicken tagged along. Run as much as you want, gingerbread man! I'm gonna cut you! Yeah, run! Run as fast as you can! An old lady, a cow, and a pig could not catch me. Neither can you. Nobody can. Because I'm the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man in front, the old lady, cow, the pig, and the chicken, they all continued to run. But the gingerbread man was getting more and more further ahead from the others. The gingerbread man was so happy and very proud of himself. I'm the brightest and the fastest gingerbread man in the world. Yes, that's me. 
Nobody can catch me because I'm the gingerbread man. When he looked ahead, soon the gingerbread man saw that he was coming across a river, and he stopped because he knew that water could make him melt away. Oh no! Oh, what now? The old lady, cow, pig, and the chicken were close now. Right at that moment, a shifty fox appeared from behind a tree. I know how to swim. If you want, I can help you. The gingerbread man thought about it. What if you eat me? You don't have to worry. I don't want to eat you. I just want to help you get across. The gingerbread man trusted the shifty fox and jumped on his tail, holding on as tight as he could. The fox jumped in the river and began to swim. Meanwhile, the old lady, cow, pig, and the chicken came to the edge of the river and saw the gingerbread man crossing the river on the back of a fox. Helplessly, they watched them go, knowing they could not catch him anymore. The river began to get deeper, and the water started to rise. Hey, fox! Keep your tail up. I almost got wet. Up on my back, it's safer. The gingerbread man hopped on the fox's back. They swam for a while, but as the water got deeper, the fox's back began to sink in the water. I'm afraid that you'll get wet. Why don't you jump on my head, where it's a bit higher? The gingerbread man climbed up on his head. The fox continued to pursue his plan and dipped his head down in the water. The water has risen too much. Why don't you get on my nose? It's higher. So the gingerbread man got on top of his nose. Right when they were about to reach the shore, the fox tipped his nose, flipping the gingerbread man into the air and opened his mouth. The gingerbread man was going to fall into his mouth, and the fox was going to eat him. But it didn't work. While the gingerbread man was in the air, a crow flying right above them caught the gingerbread man with his beak. The fox just stood there, looking with his mouth open. The gingerbread man waited for the crow to fly a little further and asked, "Do crows eat ginger cookies?" "Yep." When the crow opened his beak to speak, the gingerbread man fell down and began to run as fast as he could. Yeah, run, run as fast as you can, and old lady, a cow, a pig, a chicken, a fox, and a crow also tried to catch me, but nobody can because I'm the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man kept on running and did not stop. If you see a gingerbread man pass you by running, do not try to catch him, because he is the gingerbread man, and nobody can dare catch him. Once upon a time, there lived a little girl. This girl wore a red riding hood at all times. That's why everybody used to call her Little Red Riding Hood. Darling. Yes, mummy. You know your grandmother is ill. Would you take her the cookies I baked and the fresh herbs I picked from the woods? Of course, mummy. I will. The little girl, with her red riding hood as always, started her journey to her grandmother's house. Do not leave the road in the bunny forest, sweetheart," said her mother as she was leaving. Little Red Riding Hood started walking in the forest while joyously singing songs. I wonder why they call it the Bunny Forest. I haven't seen any bunnies along the way. Little Red Riding Hood came to a road filled with flowers. There were all kinds of coloured flowers. I should pick some flowers for my grandmother. She'll be very pleased. While Little Red Riding Hood was picking the flowers. She did not realize that she was drifting away from her path. At that moment, she heard a sound coming from the bushes. Suddenly, a big bad wolf approached in front of her. Little Red Riding Hood was so scared that when she saw the wolf right in front of her eyes, she dropped the basket that she was carrying. The wolf jumped closer to her and collected the cookies she had dropped from the basket, and gave them back to Little Red Riding Hood. 
Little Red Riding Hood was amazed by this unexpected gesture from the wolf. Thank you. Where are you heading, little girl? To my grandmother's house, the yellow house at the end of this forest. She is not feeling well, so I'm bringing her cookies and healthy herbs. Hmm, really? By the way, you can call me Little Red Riding Hood like everybody else does. I'll head on first and let your grandmother know that you're on your way so that you can continue picking up your beautiful flowers. Right at that moment, he heard a gunshot of an approaching hunter's rifle and ran away as fast as he could. Little Red Riding Hood looked around for a moment and started crying, realizing that she was lost. Hearing her crying, the hunter approached and came next to her. What are you doing alone here, little girl? It's very dangerous around here. I'm looking for a big bad wolf whom I've been hunting for a very long time. Little Red Riding Hood was very ashamed because she had not listened to her mother and left the road in the bunny forest. So she could not tell the hunter that she had met the wolf. Um, well, I was bringing cookies to my ill grandmother living at the end of the forest and I got lost. Let me bring you to your grandma's home then. They started to walk together and right then, the wolf took a shortcut and quickly made it to the grandmother's house. He knocked on the door. The grandmother yelled from inside. Who is it? The wolf changing his voice. It's me, Grandma. Little Red Riding Hood. I brought you cookies and fresh herbs from the woods. The door is open, my dear. You can come in. The wolf smirked and stormed in through the open door. When a while later, Little Red Riding Hood and the hunter arrived at the grandmother's house. Go, little girl. Go next to your grandmother as soon as possible. <laughs> the hunter went back on his way. Little Red Riding Hood knocked on the door. Her grandmother yelled from inside. Who is it? Um, it's me, Grandma. Little Red Riding Hood. The door is open, my darling. You can come in. Little Red Riding Hood hesitated for a moment. Because the sound she heard did sound a little different than her grandmother. She then remembered that her grandmother was ill. Well, grandmother probably sounds like that because she is ill. Little Red Riding Hood opened the door and went in. The wolf dressed in grandmother's clothing, with her nightcap and her glasses, was lying in the bed. He also closed the drapes so that it became dark inside and Little Red Riding Hood could not recognize him. I thank you, darling, for all your trouble getting all the way here to bring me food. Come next to me so I can give you a hug. Come, my darling. Come closer. Little Red Riding Hood left the basket on the floor, but she did not get too close to the bed because her grandma looked different. Long, Grandma. So that I can hug you better. Mm, why are your ears so big? So that I can hear you better. But why are your eyes so huge? So that I can see you better. Mm, why are your teeth so sharp, Grandmother? So that I can eat you better. <laughs> The wolf jumped out of the bed and charged at the Little Red Riding Hood. Help! At that moment, Little Red Riding Hood realized that it wasn't her grandmother lying in the bed, but instead the big bad wolf she had ran into along Help! the way. Help! me! The hunter heard Little Red Riding Hood scream. Help! Help me! 
and ran straight to the house, stormed into the open door and caught the wolf immediately. I finally got you, big bad wolf. Now you're in my hands. The hunter cut the wolf's belly and rescued the grandmother. Thank you for saving us, Mr. Hunter. You're welcome. But promise me, little girl, that you will never forget what your mother asks of you. Mm -hmm. With great appetite, Grandmother ate all the cookies Little Red Riding Hood had brought for her, boiled the healthy herbs to make a cup of tea, and instantly got well. Little Red Riding Hood promised her grandmother that she will never ever fall into the words of a bad wolf again. Little Red Riding Hood was walking in the forest once again, singing along merrily. As she ran into the same wolf again, the wolf was punished by the hunter to clean the forest. And he was very ashamed about what he did when he saw the Little Red Riding Hood. The bunny forest became full of joy, bunnies and flowers, like it was once before. Thank you.